Hey, I'm in higher, exercise 1O, number 10. Right, A, B and C are these points. Again, there's no diagram, so it's well to the dodge. I draw the diagram so you can visualise what's happening. It isn't necessary, but it certainly aids it. So, and you have to find the equation of AH, the altitude of triangle ABC. So you've got this triangle. I can see that point, so my hands will just shift it. ABC, and you have to find its altitude. The altitude AC, meaning the line that goes from A to meet the line BC at right angles, but not necessarily in the middle. It'd only be in the middle if it was an isosceles triangle. And that was given a name. The foot of that perpendicular was called H. Right. Find the equation of AH, the altitude. Right. So, part A. I want AH. It's a line, so I need two things on it. I need a point on it. Well, I've got that. I need its gradient. And get that by reference. And get that from BC. Right, so the gradient of BC is going to be the difference in the Y over the difference in the X. I've got them written there, but I'll just put it down this way. B to C, so that's 4, 9 going to 10, negative 3, just so it's a wrong number, doesn't just catch my eye as I glance over. So difference in the Y, negative 3, take away 9. Difference in the X, 10, take away 4. So that's negative 12 upon 6, which is negative 2. Just check that with your diagram. Is it down steep? Yes, that looks about right. And since it says it's the altitude, it must be perpendicular. That means the gradient of AH is going to be the negative of the reciprocal. Turn upside down, make it negative, because they have to multiply to get negative 1. Right, that was the first bit. I'll just put that in there, so there's a heading for that. Next part. So what's the equation of the line then? Well, I'll just do it down here. So for the line, y minus b equals mx minus a. I've got the gradient, I'll just put a wee note again. The gradient's a half because there's a couple of them there. And the point on it is the point 2, 3. So y minus the y coordinate, y minus 3, is the gradient a half of x minus the x coordinate. Take that across and multiply. 2y minus 6 equals x minus 2. I just put it down as 2y equals x plus 4. That's a sort of compromise. It's close to y equals mx plus c, but it's just got a number in front that keeps all the things as integers. Give it a name in case I need it later. Right, that was the first bit. Now, part b. So what's the area of the triangle? That could be quite a nasty bit of a question. Because that would involve working out bases and heights, and that seems to be the way it's leading. By saying, what's this altitude? That's like saying, find the area of that triangle by using the formula a half base times height, which means I'll need the length of AH and the length of BC. Well, length of BC wouldn't be too troublesome to work out in other two points. AH is going to take a bit longer, because it means I'll have to find what H is, first of all. And to find H, I'll have to find the equation of BC, and then intersect it with AH. And that seems to be the route they want here. Well, the other alternatives would be to form a rectangle going through these points and then taking the area of the rectangle. I don't think they want you to do that. And then subtract away these three little right angle triangles. They wouldn't require any calculations of lengths there because they're all horizontal, vertical, right angle triangles, just differences in x's and y's. I think the route they're wanting you to do here is a half base times height, since they've said what's the equation of that altitude, which means I need to find H first. So before I can find H, I'll need to do BC first of all. So BC, I know everything I need to know about BC. Y minus B equals X, MX minus A, where its gradient was negative 2, and I'll choose the point 4, 9. So I've got Y minus the Y coordinate is negative 2 times X minus the X coordinate. At least it's in the form of y equals because it's all integers. So it's negative 2x, and then I've got 8 plus the 9 makes 17. Call that equation 2. Now you can find h by substituting them. Have I got room just to squeeze that in here then? So I can find h by doing substitute 1 in 2. I'll just underline that one there just now. So I've got equation 2 is 2 lots of y, which is this thing equals x plus 4. So it's negative 4x plus 34 equals x plus 4. So 5x equals negative 30. So that 
is rather negative 5x equals negative 30, so the x equals 6. And then substitute x equals 6 in equation 2, so it will read y equals negative 2 times 6 plus the 17, which means y is going to equal negative 12 plus 17, which is 5. So h is going to be the point 6, 5. Now that you know h, which is 6, 5, you can work out the two lengths and then get the area of the triangle. So, area of the triangle then. So I want the area of the triangle ABC, which will be a half base times height, using BC as the height, as the base, so a half of BC times AH. means I'll have to work out those lengths. Right, we'll just have to plod on with it then. So BC, <coughs> so I'll just have to use Pythagoras, distance formula, which simply means going from B to C, how many along, how many down. I just want difference in X, difference in Y. So the difference in the X is squared and the difference in the Y is squared will form this little right angle triangle. So that's going to be the difference in their X's. It's going to be 10, take away 4. The difference in the Y is going to be negative 3, take away uh, 9 squared. That will give the lengths of the two short sides of this right angle triangle. So that gives me 6 squared plus 12 squared. 36 and 144, which is going to be 180. Which means BC is going to be the square root of 180. So 2 would leave 90, that's no use. 3 would leave 60, that's no use. 5 would leave 36, that's it. 36 is 6, so it's 6 root 5. So BC is 6 root 5. And then work out AH. So AH squared would be to get AH. I want to find how many along, how many up to form the little right angle triangle to use Pythagoras. So that would be the difference in x and the difference in y. Difference in x, it goes from 2 to 6, so 6 take away 2, or you could just jump straight in with a 4. Difference in y, it goes from 3 to 5, so 5 take away 3. So I've got 4 squared plus 2 squared, 16 plus 4, which is 20. So, oops, so... AH will be the square root of 20. Perfect squares in that. 4 5s, 2 root 5. And then finally, it's going to be a half times the base times the height. Well, that looks like that. So I've got 6 root 5 times root 5 is 5. 6 5s, 30. It's going to be 30 square units. Well, that was a pretty lengthy question.